famous. That's Leo, the bitch that keeps on going like, but no, no introductions. And I'm Owlwee. They'll know. <laughs> We're both stupid asses that's about to watch Nomad. Anywho, let's, yeah. get, let's get to it. First episode, let's go. Let's get a look at it. I'm a finger get down. What is the first season? Mm -hmm. I guess you didn't, didn't get a chance to rewatch season one. I didn't get to rewatch it now. So it's fine. I'm working with whatever I was. I'm only working with whatever I remember from. Um, the maybe. Here's the thing, it's like 12 episodes. Maybe you could do it one of these days um, before the next episode comes out. Maybe. <laughs> I love how you just spilled in the space. Ooh. Ooh. Let's get is there, it! Is there a meaning to Nomad? Mm. We'll see. Because I have my theories, but I don't want to be wrong. Okay. Ooh. It's the, oh. the grease, the gamer gunk from. <laughs> yes, baby. Nomad. Oh yeah, I love this man. Oh shit. Ooh. God, he doesn't. He has the same intensity, but it feels a bit off to me right now. It's a lot more. Uh, in your face. Yeah. The previous ones. Ooh. Murder. I mean, yeah, I would beat the shit out of you if you had that name too. Murder Kai. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't even an ass whooping. This is like Waffle House level. Straight. Yeah. There was no coming back from that. Not even a chance. That dude was dodging for his life. I don't know how I feel about this. Oh. Is he? He's become a tool. <laughs> Kinda. I don't say it like that. It just sort of seems like a desperation, somewhat, too. You know mm. what I mean? That's where we're coming from. Oh, I see it. Wait, did we flash forward or something? Crap. I must be forgetting something about the last episode. Shit. This is... Ugh. We literally went from the final fight in the season, first season, mm. to... I'm guessing literally... Uh, Wait, one year one since the catastrophic typhoon, no hope of recovery in sight? Catastrophic... Oh. 
I should, you know, I should sympathize with him, but I can't help but notice how hot he is. Oh, stop. stop. <laughs> Maybe I like people with depression. I don't know. I can change him. <laughs> no, 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 no. I, I would. Him. No, I would ride him. You got that wrong, no. CC. Oh. Yeah. I'd be like a horny fish, but like, man. Fine. <laughs> Oh, wait a second. So what's going on? Oh, shit. What happened? Wait, what? I think the... I think the gear pushed him a bit too hard, too, it feels like. Unless he's starting to get addicted to the painkillers as well. I, I can't the make it. some side effects to something that he's done. Yeah. I'm trying to make out what's the cause. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, wait a second. In the last match, his gear started to break off. I'm pretty sure. ま、だ。ま、だ。ま、だ。ま、だ。ま、だ。ま、だ。ま、だ。ま、だ。ま、だ。ま、だ。ま、だ。ま、だ。ま、だ。ま、だ。ま、だ。ま、だ。ま、だ
Oh. Oh, oh wow. Wait, what if they aren't just painkillers? What if they were like regulation meds? It wasn't didn't seem like re regulation when he got it from some guy in the shop. Yeah. Seemed pretty dodgy. Okay. Oh no, Yikes. come on. Come on. Yeah, now I need to rewatch the first season. How did we I need to know what happened. What happened? From the last episode to this. Like... Hmm. Oh no, I'm buffering. Wow, what? <laughs> let it, Why now? Let it buffer. It can give us some time to discuss real quick. Wait a second. You want the I realize the symbolism behind this already. So, like in the first Was this on the trailer? Um no, just this one scene. So you know how um Joe basically immediately when he saw like the top one person during the first episode, um he was like, Oh, mm -hmm. so now you're in my arena. It's like how are you gonna feel with a mutt without any direction? So, oh, Joe would always oh. call himself that. And sort of now he's in the same position, but this time it's with like an actual dog staring him down. Someone that has the same courage that he used to have. Yeah. The biggest thing is used to. Yeah. And he's still trying to gain it back. He's trying. It's just what's hooking him so hard to it? And what happened immediately after the match? I don't know what I, if what I said made sense to the audience, but like... So much is happening. Maybe I'm psychoanalyzing it a bit too much. It's just... I love no, I this it. series. Nah, this is Joe. But now him trying to look like Will Smith. <laughs> Shit. そこまで言われちゃ、こっちも断る理由がねえ。好きにしな。言っとくが、八尾町はなし。真剣勝負の勝ちんこだ。時間だぜ。Oh, is he fighting him? Oh. Okay. Oh. Chief makes sense. <laughs> He's like you fucking cocky bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's provoking him on purpose. Yeah. Is that oh, oh wow. Shit. Wow, that hurt. Oh. Mm. Was that was that a foul play? No. Is it okay to step on each other's foot? 
Well, I guess it happened. I guess it'll happen no matter what. Yeah. Wait a second. This time around, he's, um... The underdog. Yeah. Oh, what the fuck? Let's send him off. Oh. Hmm. I'm so confused what happened there. I feel like I know, but I can't think of the specific scene that reminds me of that from last season. <laughs> あんた今すぐかかりつけの耳鼻科に行くべきだな。俺も試合前に名車に行ってきたよ。昨日から腹の調子が悪くてさ。どうした何にイラついてる。Second. I why do I feel like that dude's popping up not because he's actually there? Because I haven't seen him next to another character before. You know, the coach guy? I forgot his exact name, though. Mm. I think it's like, um, Kaneko? Or maybe I'm thinking about from this... Oh! You talking about the kid? No, no, no. The, um, old man without the eye. Oh. Oh, shit! Oh, okay. He's revving up. Yeah, oh. Wait. Your meds were off. Ooh. He pulled him out right in front of his face. It was fucking wow. smooth, too. How did... Did he just, like, observe him from last night? Just to see how bad it was? Or this is probably, like, a known thing that never gets addressed. Remember, he was also the one singing in that bar? Yeah. That was... And he saw Joe holding those three pills. Yeah, so he so. probably knew how bad it could get. Because, remember, they just mentioned that he was up in the top at, at some point in time. We just don't know when. We don't know why he ended up getting to this place here and now. We don't know his journey yet. I hope he becomes reoccurring. I don't want it to just be one random bitch from a fight. <laughs> He's gonna be the Apollo Creed to the Rocky. Oh, maybe! <laughs> Actually, wait a second. I can see it. Yeah, I can, totally I can see, see it too. Bring back Joe from the... Wherever he is right now. <laughs> Bottom. Oh! Nah, you're letting your guard... Hold up. Whoa! Wait, is he? Is it a? Is it a fixed match? Now he's the one that's supposed to not. Now he's the one that's supposed to always win. <coughs> I think they fixed it, dude. Yeah, they fixed it in the first part of the episode too. Because remember, like I said, the roles are reversed. Instead of him throwing the match, he needs to win the match. So he starts this off sucks. a bit slower. Damn. So he never really lets himself enjoy the actual match anymore, maybe. Or there's something that has to do with the drugs that they're giving him. It feels like pain medication, but I feel like it's for something more mental. Mm. Like a mental illness instead of it just being like dependency. Well, it can be that too. It's probably growing into that.
Ooh. Wait, so was he throwing the match also himself? Or... That's what I'm saying. This guy himself was throwing the match. Oh, you thought that the other guy was. I thought that you were talking about um Nomad, a.k.a. Joe. No, Joe. Joe's not throwing. Joe's going all out. But, but our guy here with the hat, he threw. Oh, that's what you were saying. Yeah, I think now that you mention it, that fall did kind of look... Yeah. Because even Joe said this isn't strong enough, but it knocked him out apparently. And right. then you saw all the other managers laughing or smiling as if their plan succeeded. Yeah, that's true. And we can assume the plan was for him to throw over here to throw. Yeah, guess so. That's probably the worst thing Joe wants or doesn't want. Yeah, he wants because he kept on repeating that all the time. Um, you know what I mean? Mm hmm. Even back in season one. The one thing he lived by. Yeah. Oh, that's fucking sad. That's and brutal. symbolic. That basically destroyed who he was in the first season completely. Because that's yeah. what I'm saying. That's that dog represents. That's Joe. No, He's right. now nomad. What happened to the kids, man? What happened to all the support that he had? I don't know what caused him fully to get on this path. One, because I remember some of the season, but not all. That's the reason why I was like, oh shit, maybe I should rewatch. <clears throat> he definitely fought for that little kid at least, but now that little kid's not even in the show yeah. currently, so... Not only that, I just... Did he get swept away by the tycoon that was mentioned? Oh, shoot! You think they killed him off? Oh. I'm not sure, but that's what I'm thinking from the evidence that we got shown so far. Oh, that would be tough. Oh. Uh, if that did happen, I do not want to see that flashback scene. I might just cry. It's just he was already a bit of a tragic character in the first season. Like seeing his bright oh, face go. the last time to this, it's it's depressing. Oh, Pastella they didn't. Beast Dang fucking... it! They didn't go any further. He said it's been five years, and then they stopped it. Ah, five years? That's how big the time skip was. It's been five years since they started working with each other. I'm guessing so. That's five years. Oh, that's what Oof. they were talking about. But yeah, you're right. Five years since the first season, basically. <laughs> wow, damn. Okay. They are filling these holes. I know they have to. 